for the list of questions in whatever order you like. Okay, so I see what package is used, um, probably Simex mode. Um, right, so the main package that was being demoed, um, that is not yet on Melpa. In fact, I haven't even decided on a name for it. Um, I've alternate, alternately called it epistemic mode. I've called it um, Indra mode. I've called it uh, Rigpaw, all kinds of things. But at the moment, uh, you can find it on my GitHub. There's a link. Um, in the presentation itself. If you go to GitHub slash count by Jula, you see um, the package there. I think it's currently named Indra, but I'm not sure. Package is called Rigpa, actually, yes. The second one is correct. That was the name that I selected um, last night. Um, and that's because it might, that there's a concept in Tibetan Buddhism that seems like it might have something to do with the kinds of concepts we're talking about with this package. So I just thought it would be a good name for it. Um, so you can look up that concept and get a sense of it um, on Wikipedia. Next question is how to deal with Dvorak, uh, Dvorak, or however that's pronounced. This has always bugged me. Is there an Xmod map mode? So the thing with this is it's kind of surprising, but although Vim was originally developed um, you know, with the idea of the key bindings being on the home row, it turns out that that is actually not a major aspect of the Vim editing experience. So people who use the Dvorak layout actually end up using the same keys as they do on the normal QWERTY layout. So they don't remap anything because the, uh, the, the sort of the power that Vim or the, the flexibility, the kind of style that Vim enables on QWERTY layout keyboards is exactly preserved even on Dorja keyboard, even though your your fingers are not in the same positions. It's not a big deal, actually. Um, and then I mostly use default model provided by Vanilla Emacs and work in org mode for text editing. Can you give me some examples of how the user can use the concept of mode mode to do some interesting editing? Um, so, Probably the main thing would be the the keystrokes would be less uh, contrived. So they the the fewer modes you have, the more modifiers you need in order to um, do whatever it is that you're trying to do. Because you've got essentially with the Vanilla Emacs model, you've got a completely flat um, keyboard structure and so all of the different things that you might want to express are all mapped to a flat keyboard uh set of keys so with um with this kind of uh, modal um, structure the more modes you have the more the individual keystrokes become uh, shorter and shorter so that could be one benefit that would be provided is with many modes your keystrokes would generally be a single keystroke long for even relatively complex tasks because you're setting the context beforehand. So you already say, oh, I'm going to be talking about this org buffer um, agenda. And then um, the, all, all the keystrokes that you do at that point would be in relation to that. Um, OK, I think we have time for like one more short question. One more short question. OK, let's see. How do new modes come into existence? You can make them yourself, um, and you can specify them in Emacs Lisp uh, if you like. But there's also some more. You can also do it visually, as we did. Um, but the, yeah, the finding them is essentially built on top of Hydra, but it could also be built on top of Evil or any other modal interface provider. There is an abstraction layer. OK. Thank you so much, Sid, for your talk and for the live Q&A. Sure, thank you. Cheers. Feel free to yeah. um, take up the rest of the questions, either via IRC or on the pad on, on your own time off the stream. Perfect. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put in some answers there. Awesome. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, you too.